I'm back in the ORs, and uh, you guys know I haven't been in the ORs very much lately, but that's okay. Every once in a while I get called out for special projects, and this is one of them. This is a 6700, and what it's got is it's got a keyway that eventually gets loose and allows the table to wobble back and forth. And uh, I'll give you an example of what that looks like, and you should be checking it during your PMs. And when you find that uh, it is in fact loose, you have to go invasive and you have to tighten it down manually, but use Loctite guys. And I'll show you the whole process. Let's take a look. This is the 6700, and you can see, I've got it all the way up. There's four screws around the collar, and you can see I've got a set of hemostats clipped on just to hold it up. So I am aware that this guy's kind of heavy, and my hands aren't going to be in there goofing around very much. I have a six millimeter Allen wrench. It is metric, and you can see these right here are your keyways. I'm just gonna leave that guy in there for a moment. And the way that you test this guy is you grab a hold of it and you shake it side to side, all right? And what it'll do is it'll wobble back and forth. Here, can you go ahead and grab on your table? Does yours wobble really good? Yeah, see that? So it shimmies side to side and it becomes very unstable. And it is something that we can adjust. It's these little keys right here. They'll slide in these slots, but they have to be tightened down and they just gradually get loose. Do not just tighten them down. Make sure that if you do it, you're gonna use some Loctite thread locker. All right, guys, I have found the culprit. You can see that this is how tight it was when I walked up. I can probably tighten it down several turns. Yeah, both of them are loose. So what we gotta do is we gotta pull these fasteners all the way out and I'll do it one at a time, that way there the keyway doesn't slide, you know, and fall down. So pull one out, you gotta clean the threads, clean the hole because there's gonna be grease and schmoo in there. And to do that, we got some sanitary wipes. See this guy? So we're gonna go ahead and clean them up one by one. Do not pull both fasteners out at the same time. One at a time, clean it, Loctite it, put it in, and pull the other one out. And this one down here is tight, so I don't have to worry about that one. That one up there is a troublemaker. All right, guys. So, first off, you can see I have the fastener out. Clean it off on the rag, and then I put it down here and make sure it's dry before you put Loctite on it. And you can see what I'm doing is I've got the rag, I'm inserting it with a smaller Allen wrench into the hole, and I'm gonna spin it around to clean out some of those threads because we gotta clean out the threads. There's definitely some grease and schmoo in there, and Loctite just won't work correctly if the threads aren't cleaned out. So that's the next step. Got it. You see, we're using a, a micro ratchet and a regular six-sided bit with the number six or six millimeter. And this table here doesn't go up quite as high, so you gotta get up in there. And for that one, this little ratchet works a treat. It's caught. It's all right. Let's go back the opposite direction just a little hair and it will snap free. It happens quite quite often. Yeah. Yeah. Just put a little pressure on the reverse direction okay. and it should just break free. Right. There you go, and now it comes out. See? Go. Okay, and the next one. All right, we're working on the lower. Where's the other? That's faster than me. It's got right here. Allen, yeah. Going old school on it. There we go. This is the Skytron 6701. Suffers from the same exact problem. It's pretty much any of the tables that have the rotating base. Okay, you can see I've got my hemostats wedged in on this table in this little groove, and it's in the hole. We're gonna drop it down and line it up right now. Okay, ready? Okay. 
Make sure the ring lines up. Excellent. And four fasteners in the bottom, and we're good. All right, once there, it's all tightened down, the collar goes back into its place. Notice the flat spot. Always have the flat spot towards the cover. Make sure that your covers go down nice and smooth. And there are a couple Phillips screws up at the top. Got one up there, make sure it's tight just in case you shook it loose. Mm -hmm. See, I got one up here. That one is a little bit loose. And right now, we're in the process of cleaning out the hole. Yeah. Seems like tight. Yeah, look how gooey that is. All right, guys, it's not very complex, but nonetheless, it has to be done. Don't ignore it because if it gets looser and looser, your fasteners will work their way loose. And when they're weeble wobbling around in there, because there's a lot of torque on this table, then what you're taking a chance at is wallering out the hole, which means that you're making the threads larger and larger because it's flopping around. So tighten them down as soon as you notice that there's a little bit of play in the tabletop. And when you're done, nice and tight. Super simple, guys. Check your tables. All right, when you're inspecting your tables, you also need to check your headboard. See this guy? Give it a thorough inspection. I have seen these fasteners loose. I've seen that one loose. See this one right here? Flopping around a little bit. Look at this guy. Problem is, is if it flops around like this, it will disengage from the latch and it will drop the patient's head. So we gotta pull the fastener out, check the bushings, there should be some bushings in there and Loctite it and then put it back together. Don't just tighten it back down because that will just band-aid fix the problem. It'll come back loose in no time. So you can tell this one here is this one here is okay. This one over here, it's not okay. So okay, in order to get this guy out proper, because it's being intercepted by this bar, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? So this can be pulled. We can get at this one. That's not a problem. This one down here would normally be a challenge, except you can see that I've rotated this guy all the way down so that I can fit a socket under the groove right here, in between the spur gear and in between this casting. So I can fit the socket in. You can see now I can tighten it down. Yeah. So I just fit it like that. So rotate this guy all the way back and you can fit it underneath it and get to the fastener for this rail. Drop this fastener right here, loosen that guy up, the rail will spin out of the way, and now you have full open access to that bolt.